like the next kill killer instinct or something looks like a killer instinct hey what's up guys and welcome back to another video this video popped out in my feed so i was like okay i'm gonna save it for another video reaction so in this one we're gonna watch the top 12 upcoming fighting games for 2022 and 2023 this video is actually from mob x game youtube channel so i will leave the original video in the description below stay tuned to watch the rest of the video and of course don't forget to like comment share sub and turn the bell to get notified every time i upload a video or when i go live so let's get this started first one. Oh yeah we already know kino fighters are ready kino fighters are already coming in seven days Open beta test actually kicks off. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I saw this game, the first trailer, I was like, this game is so unpolished. I I couldn't see like a lot of I don't know the work on the impact, the sound effects, video effects and stuff like that, but eventually SNK actually worked on that and I could see the difference in the latest trailers and the vedas so i was like okay snk you got my attention now they like they actually working on the game making a better a better job with this game so i'm more like okay i want to try this game now at first i was like hell no i'm not gonna play this game <laughs> I was so skeptical, like... But I think they fixed it. I mean, the video effects doesn't look... Don't look that bad anymore. The impact on this, on the hits and, sh and stuff. Wait, okay, this is gonna be... Street Fighter 6, yeah, but we, we don't have shit for this game. <laughs> we don't even have a teaser. Like when Capcom, when is Capcom releasing a damn teaser for us? Damn it! Like, come on! When is Capcom releasing a damn teaser for this game? Like, come on! Phantom Breaker Omnia. This is anime type fighting game. To be honest, I didn't like this this kind of fighting games that much. Well, Guilty Gear is the exception because of the graphic style. I don't know. Looks like more. I don't know. More badass. Check it out. This game's possibly the first fighting game likely come out. But yeah, this kind of I, I'm I'm actually pretty careful with with this kind of fighting games, uh, anime uh, fighting games. When the graphic style is like too cute, I'm like I'm not liking it that much to be honest. It should be like Guilty Gear or Dragon Ball Fighters uh, graphic style animation. Corrupt fighting game in the making, the answer or Corrupt. I don't know how to pronounce that. Corrupt. Is this like the next kill, killer instinct or something? Looks like a killer instinct. This is like a mixture of killer instinct with, with Tekken or something like that. I don't know. This definitely reminds me of, kill, of killer instinct. Looks good. No, it doesn't look bad. I mean, pretty good combo. Oh, we got 2D anima animations? 2D fighting games? This one looks actually pretty old school. Reminds me of Mark of, of Garou Mark of Wolves. Blazing Strike. 
This one looks good. Why not trying this shit out? Now, this kind of graphic style is pretty good. I like it. If you, if, if I'm gonna play a, a 2D fighting game, it's gonna be like this. Oh, this one look, looks good. Pretty old school, though. What? What? Was that a parry? You can parry in this game? Holy shit, hold on. Definitely reminds me of Thirst Strike parry there. That's a parry, guys. Look at that. That's a parry. Wow. This one looks actually pretty inter interesting, man. I'm looking out for this game, definitely. Oh, this is a pocket, another pocket fighter. Then there's pocket pocket bravery. I like to think is inspired by the double dragon games. And I'm not excited to. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I I, I don't I don't like too much pocket fighters. Literally zero move for the genre. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why. Just because character is so fucking small. But looks, it, it, it has like pretty good, pretty good combos. I've seen, I'm seeing here. Pretty good combo routes, long combos. Don't look that bad. Well, but yeah, I just prefer full size fighters, man. I <laughs> pocket ones. Is, um. Anyway, but who knows, man? I can try. Oh, I have saw I have seen this game before, Metal Revolution. I want to try this game out. This one looks pretty good. It's weird because this game is actually on 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 a mobile, but they haven't released the console PC version still. But it's looking so good. It reminds me of Rising Thunder, and Rising Thunder was actually a damn good game. But just that Riot Games decided to just end that project and begin with Project L. But I don't know. I actually like the idea of robots fight a robots fighting game, like the impact and the sound of, of the metal and stuff uh, is actually pretty dope, man. This is like a mixture of Street Fighter with yeah, got a lot of Street Fighter elements um, back in the days when I played Rising Thunder. I don't know if you guys uh, had a chance to play Rising Thunder. That was a great, a great game they were working on. I don't know why they didn't keep going. They just decided to just go to Project L. Yo, Orlando, how's it going? Welcome back. But this one looks good. It's like, it looks definitely like Rising Thunder. It's, it looks like the the successor of Rising Thunder. I'm gonna look, um, going to be looking up for this one. Oh yeah, DNF Duel. DNF Duel, of course. Dungeon Fighter, which is an online game that has itself like overall This one of, I have seen, of course, we are all, all of, We have all seen this game already. We are all waiting for them. Well, yeah, I'm waiting for the, for this game. The only thing they came up with and the fact that the game is coming to consoles and PCs Very good. Time later. Uh Freight Makers Oh, this is definitely like a smash, smash-like game. <laughs> what the hell is that character? This is like a buff duck or something. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, this one, is, uh, we already got smashed, so why just... Uh, yeah, I don't know, like, at this point, just having another Smash game is like, okay, meh, just whatever. My opinion, Brawlhalla looks better.
What is this? Whoa, another another old school old school fighting game. Looks fighting game, like pretty old school graphic style. You can you can already see pixelated art style. Damn. Nice combos. Wow. I like the combos. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All skill looks. Okay. This has got a weird name. Trahes Fatais? I don't... I don't know what 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 is that language? Is, what the fuck is this game? Holy shit! I I definitely like the effects on this one. Wow! Five Force Fighters. Five teams blessed with elemental powers. Sounds interesting. Check out the Kickstarter. It says the game is coming what the hell is this shit? It looks amazing. It's like a mixture of, of Marvel versus Capcom with I don't know. Never seen her before. Nah, for with her, Bucket I Fighter. I mean, it's not. I I I don't see to to the characters not that small. But I actually like the art style on this one. I like the art style of this game. It's like old drawings. Frame by frame by frame drawings. Ooh, man's on fire. Literally. Might get burned chasing him. I definitely like I the video effects on this one. Just, just give me a bucket of water. <laughs> what is that? An infinite? Holy shit. Wow. Last but not least, we have Varvarian. Varvarian. Is this is a 3D fighting game. I'm seeing. A third person, third person type fighting game. Wow. I'm not used to play this kind of fighting games, but why not try it out? Looks interesting. Kind of like Jump Force and Naruto and those kind of and Dragon Ball Budo Kai Tenkaichi type of fighting game. Stuff like that. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good.